My name is Bill Parks. I'm welcoming to the state capital of Oklahoma. I spend a little bit of time taking a look at a very beautiful building. Start here with Solomon Layton, who was the principal architect on the capital. This is a 1915 drawing of the capital, and I show this to folks just so they understand the dome really was a part of the plan in the beginning. The building was built without the dome between 1914 and 1917, did not build the dome then because they ran out of money, but they had built all of the supporting substructure for the dome. So when we got around to building the dome, uh, beginning in 2001, we were able just to start at the roof line and go up. The base of the building is covered with pink and black granite that comes from Oklahoma, white Indiana limestone on the main part. The dome's covered with a man-made stone, and that's how they were able to match the building as well as they did. The floors of the Capitol are Alabama marble, chosen for its durability. You'll see Vermont marble in the baseboards, you'll see it in steps, you'll see it in pillars throughout the building. Through the efforts of Senator Charles Ford, we have added some 100 new pieces of artwork throughout the Capitol, and he's very quick to add at no cost to the state of Oklahoma. This particular piece is by Wayne Cooper. It's called The Magic of Petroleum, and they're taking water that has oil in it to make medicine for arthritis and other diseases. This is Governor Mary Fallon's office. Uh, Governor Fallon is uh, the first, not only the first woman, she was also the first woman and the first Republican Lieutenant Governor in 1995. Uh, and right around the corner from her office, uh, Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb's office. They're elected separately, so they could be of different political parties. Uh, they are both uh, Republicans this time around and both are elected for four-year terms. This is the Guardian, uh, sculpted by Senator Ina Kelly Haney, one of our former state senators. Senator Haney is a full-blood Seminole Creek Indian, but this statue represents all of the Indians of Oklahoma. There are 39 tribes that have headquarters in Oklahoma. Looking at the general populations, probably something in the neighborhood of uh, 60 tribes. Notice that the spear, uh, he has driven the spear through his legging uh, and the ground, and he uh, says that means that he is staying to protect uh, the state capital. Is this an image of a particular person? No, it is, it is as generic as he could make it, uh, so that it represented all of the Indians of Oklahoma. Uh, rather than a particular person or even a particular tribe. Where is this? This is the Hall of Governors. We have a bust of each of the former governors. Uh, all of them, except for the last three down on the right, were done by Leonard McMurray for our 75th statehood anniversary in 1982. Of the governors, William Henry Murray is probably my favorite because he has more stories to be told about him than any other governor, I think, in the group. Uh, he was the president of the Constitutional Convention. He was the first speaker of the House of Representatives. Had to wait a while before he got to be governor, but in the four years that he was governor, he called out the Oklahoma National Guard more than 40 times, more than all the rest of them put together, and over all kinds of things. There was a free bridge built across the Red River to Texas. The folks that had the toll bridges had a court injunction to keep that bridge closed. He took the National Guard down and they opened the free bridge and closed the toll bridge. Uh, during his administration, the price of oil dropped to 18 cents a barrel, and he said, we're not pumping oil until it goes back to at least a dollar. Now, the one that I get a big kick out of is the problem we had with people scalping football tickets at the University of Oklahoma. On football weekends, he was sending part of the guard to Norman to be sure nobody made money on their football tickets. 20 years after he was governor, his son, Johnston, was governor, and they're the only father and son governors so far. I think it's kind of ironic that Bill opened that free bridge. Johnston opened Oklahoma's first turnpike. The painting in the archway, uh, 
Beyond the Centennial by Carlos Teo, very different in style from all the rest of the artwork in the Capitol, but it has a lot of Oklahoma symbolism in it. Now, first of all, the big red figure in the middle uh, represents the universal man or all Oklahomans. And Oklahoma is two Choctaw words that mean red man. So there's the red man. Lower left-hand corner, you have the state wildflower, the Indian blanket. Right above that, kind of a purple area, that's a redbud tree, our state tree. Scissor tail flycatcher, our state bird. And by his other hand, an astronaut. There have been more astronauts go into space from Oklahoma than any other state in the Union. We're coming into the Senate chamber. Oklahoma's legislature meets begin the first Monday of February, has to be finished by the last Friday of May. So they're in session four months out of the year. Uh, we have 48 state senators elected for four years. The lieutenant governor is the president of the Senate, but not active in that role, probably in 70 years now. So the president pro tem really is the leader. And a little bit of our history from 1907 till 2006, the Democrats had the majority, uh, so the pro tem was a Democrat. 2006, we had a tie. So they elected a Democrat and a Republican, and they alternated days as to who was conducting the business of the Senate. I thought if the lieutenant governor ever was going to be involved, that would be it. It turned out the first year of that session, there were no tie votes at all. In the second year, there were only four, so they really made that situation work. The picture is the Constitutional Convention that was held in Guthrie in 1906 and 1907. There were 112 men from Oklahoma Territory, Indian Territory, and the Osage region that gathered there. In the center case, we have the original Oklahoma State Constitution, 110 pages long, making it the longest state constitution in the country as it was originally written. I like to compare it to the United States Constitution in its original form, it was four pages long. Uh, William Murray, who presided later on, said probably 40 of the first 48 sections should have been done by the legislature. Section 17, roughly half of the document is the description of county boundaries, the names of the county seats, and the method for changing county boundaries. Probably will not find that in another constitution in the country. And then over here we have the great seal that was used when the capital was in Guthrie. If you go to Guthrie, they'll, they'll tell you that we stole this from them. I'm of the opinion it was not stealing because we did have an election in 1910. The people voted to move the capital from Guthrie to Oklahoma City. The story about the midnight ride of the state seal, um, several versions of that story, and all of them seem to say in the middle of the night, but actually the truth of the matter was they had car trouble on the way, didn't get there until the next morning, and brought the seal back that next day. This is the Supreme Court of the state of Oklahoma. Originally five justices elected by the people. Today there are nine um, and they are appointed by the governor. Now once they are appointed in the next general election, their name will be on the ballot and we vote whether to retain them for six years. And then every six years after that, their name will be on the ballot. A little bit about the room. The woodwork throughout this room is solid mahogany imported from the West Indies in 1916. The pillars are one piece of solid Vermont marble. Each of these pillars weighs about 10,000 pounds, brought on the railroad because that was the way to move things in the 1910s. The ceiling and the decorative places along the wall, that's cast plaster done by McNulty Brothers of Chicago. The, uh, the Supreme Court meets uh, Mondays and Thursdays. This division of the court does not meet in the courtroom very often. Most of their work is based on written records, so they meet in a conference room. Uh, only when they have a case with a lot of public interest will they meet here in the courtroom. This court will probably handle something in the neighborhood of 2,000 cases per year. Most of the work of this court is how the lower courts are doing their work, 
So it's not the kind of thing where you have to have oral arguments. A lot of it can be handled just on, on paper. Is it common to have the Supreme Court housed in the Capitol building? My understanding is until the people of the court moved out last summer that we were one of the very few states where all three branches of government were still in the Capitol building. So apparently it is uh, unusual for the Supreme Court to be housed in the Capitol. The Great Seal has a lot of our history in it. There are 45 small stars, stand for the 45 states before Oklahoma. In the large star, symbols of five of the many tribes that were forced to come to Indian Territory. Starting at the top, the Chickasaw, Choctaw, Seminole, Creek, and Cherokee. Inside the green wreath, the farmer and the Indian shaking hands makes a good picture of the combining of Oklahoma Territory and Indian Territory to make the state of Oklahoma in 1907. We're in, on the fourth floor rotunda, and this is your best look at the dome. Right above the large paintings, there's a purple ring, and that marks the beginning of new construction. So everything above that line was completed in October of 2002. So we've had a dome on our capital about nine years now. How long did it take for them to add the dome? Uh, 16 months. Started in April of 01 and they were finished by October of 02, so 16 months. The cost to build this dome was approximately $22 million. Of that, some $20 million is privately financed. From, from the beginning, there was always a group of people who wanted to finish the capital and build the dome. Through the years, Different groups have tried to raise money. Uh, Governor Keating put the right group of people together to raise the money. And his goal was to have the dome on the Capitol by the centennial so that we would have the Capitol looking like it was uh, supposed to look uh, as it was originally designed. The large paintings are by Charles Banks Wilson. And he starts with the history of Oklahoma Coronado and the Spanish going across the Panhandle in 1541 on their way to the Lost Cities of Gold. This is trade on the early frontier. Uh, <clears throat> one of the interesting things about Wilson, he does not make things up. So all of the people in his paintings are real people. All of the background scenes are actual Oklahoma locations. The, uh, the big Indian in the middle here is Joe Benny Mason. I probably will never forget that because I had his twin granddaughters on tour one day and they made sure that everybody knew that that was their grandpa. This is uh, the Indians coming to Indian Territory. Wilson actually calls it the Indian Immigration, which to me made it sound like they wanted to come here and I never have understood that. Kind of in the upper right hand corner you'll see a depiction of the Trail of Tears. Uh, the reason there's a steamboat in the middle of that painting in the background, actually some of the Choctaw were wealthy enough that they were able to come up the Arkansas River by boat. The artwork, I think, is what draws uh, people, what draws me to the building, what sets the building apart, and just the stories that go with the artwork. You know, across the way we've got Will Rogers, uh, Will was an actor, a cowboy, a humorist, goodwill ambassador to the world. People know that, need to know Will Rogers is from Oklahoma. Uh, around to the left there we have uh, Sequoia, a Cherokee who developed the Cherokee alphabet or the syllabary. Uh, and just a, a wonderful story because he was not literate in another language and came up with what linguists say is probably the best way to write down the Cherokee language. Uh, but I really would say the, the stories behind the artwork uh, would be one of the most important things for people to get out, out of their visit. Come to the Capitol. Come to the Oklahoma State Capitol and see this beautiful building. Hear the stories. Uh, see what's going on in the Capitol.